Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. Deputy Premier and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, held a joint virtual meeting between the legislative and executive authorities in order to discuss the government budget for the fiscal years of 2021 and 2022. Among those present in the meeting were the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Parliamentary Affairs, Ghanem Al Bouainin, along with the representative and chairman of the Committee of Financial and Economic Affairs at the Representatives Council, Mahmoud Al Bahrani, the representative and chairman of the Committee, Ali Ishaqi, the Shura member and chairman of the Shura Financial and Economic Committee, Khalid Al Masqati, and the Shura member and deputy chairman of the latter committee, Rada Faraj. The deputy premier conveyed the greetings of his his Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the two councils and wish them further success in achieving more for the citizens and the country. He affirmed that the 2021 and 2022 budgets are based on preserving the interests of the citizens as per the royal vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which affirms that the citizens are the pillar for sustainable development, along with all initiatives, plans and strategies by the government. The Deputy Premier said that the Cabinet approved the budget for the next two financial years, which affirms the government's commitment to achieving financial sustainability, despite the challenges posed by the pandemic, with which the entire world is dealing with. He said that it is clear that the government prioritized the interests of the citizens through decreasing the administrative expenses and the increased efficiency of government spending, along with providing the best possible services to the citizens without affecting the social assistance that is provided to those in need. He added that the government is keen on enhancing confidence through economic recovery and creating job opportunities for citizens, and that the process for increasing non-oil revenues and the initiatives associated with the budget now require the concerted efforts by Team Bahrain to executive the plan, to execute the plans. The Deputy Premier affirmed the readiness of all government organizations to cooperate with the legislative authority in discussing the budgets and said that he looks forward to working with its representatives. The members of the representatives and Shura councils expressed their thanks and appreciation for the government's approval of the budget and affirmed that the committees of the two councils have been fully prepared to achieve this national responsibility for the benefit of the citizens and the country. The Ministry of Health announced that it has received 50,000 vaccine doses for the seasonal flu. The Assistant Undersecretary of Resources and Services, Fatma Al Ahmed, said that the delivery of these doses to medical centers have been well coordinated in anticipation for demand by citizens for flu shots. She added that the ministry is waiting for the second batch of the vaccine, which amounts to 50,000 in the second half of this month, to offer the best possible levels of protection. She said that flu shots will be available in sufficient quantities to protect citizens, especially those who are most vulnerable. Bahrain celebrates today the Bahraini Doctor Day in which Bahrain have witnessed tremendous developments in the medical field during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Bahrain Medical Society issued a book and a documentary on this occasion. The book and the documentary shed light on the efforts of the medical sector, the stages of improvement of services, beginning with Salmani Hospital, then expanding further after establishing the BDF Hospital, King Hamad University Hospital, and many other successful initiatives. The book and the documentary highlighted the care given to the Bahraini doctor, which comes following the approval of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, to allocate the first Wednesday of every November as the Bahraini Doctor Day and allocating the Khalifa bin Salman Award for Bahraini doctors. The capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, participated in the third Chinese exhibition for imports and the International Economic Hon Jiqiao Forum remotely, with the participation of the Chinese President Xi Jinping and a number of world leaders. The Chinese President delivered a speech in which he expressed China's aspirations to broaden the horizon of cooperation, especially during the current circumstances, in order to overcome all challenges. The governor delivered a statement in which he affirmed the high status of China and its significant role on the economic level. He praised the bilateral relations and expressed aspirations to further enhance these relations and cooperation in all fields.
The CEO of the Information and E-Government Authority, Mohammed Al-Qaid, announced that in cooperation with Microsoft, more than 14,000 emails were transferred to Microsoft's cloud computing. Al-Qaid affirmed that 45 government entities under the umbrella of the government agreement signed with Microsoft have been able to benefit from integrated digital solutions in order to enhance safe government operations and services and improve the efficiency of the information technology sector and implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince by strengthening the role of the public sector as an organizer and active partner of the private sector in order to increase the pace of economic development and create promising investment opportunities in order to achieve the Kingdom's Economic Vision 2030.